Greetings, YouTubians. All systems are go here. What I want to show you today is how to build this little egg pan auto timer that I used in my videos. You can see I started by cutting a piece off of a aluminum bar stock, about two inches by three inches. Right in the center, I drilled a one quarter inch hole with number 20 thread and a little divot. And that's to mount a camera shoe on here so that I can put it on the type of tripod that uses a shoe. The way I have it rigged now is uh, no no foot so I can put it on a tripod that just has a pin a screw pin to attach it to so what I started with was an everyday living brand egg timer and there's lots of different videos on YouTube here about how to do this I picked this brand because it's flat on the top and the bottom and some of the other videos are made with an egg timer um, that is angled in the front and they take them apart and just use the insides but I kind of like that one for this reason this one has a magnetic bottom which you might trust, but I didn't. So that's why I screwed on an aluminum, or glued an aluminum plate onto here uh, to mount on a tripod. So, the next thing you need is a two inch rubber cap, like you get in the hardware department. This is to cap a uh, sewer line in your house, like if you're changing out the sink or something like that. This, I give it a little, I put a little aloe vera on there to lubricate it, but it, it, it will slide down on top of the timer. It'll cover up these numbers it leaves that number showing so you know how much time you have. It takes one hour to spin in a complete circle, so 30 minutes to do a 180. And to uh, attach the camera to this, I got a one half inch by one quarter inch coarse thread pan head screw, the low profile. And I've got a one and a half inch, yeah, or one and a quarter inch thin washer for that screw to go through. And the next thing I did was take my knife and poke a hole right in the center of this rubber cap. Got a big old horse fly on me. Got and so then the screw's gonna go inside there, right? With the end of the screw poking out. When you cut the hole, just make a little tiny hole just enough to jam that screw up through. And that way the rubber will hold onto the screw and keep it in place and won't fall off. And when you slide it down onto the timer, don't slide it too far. Leave a little bit of the red showing. And that's so that it doesn't rub the screw head doesn't rub on the white part of the timer, which sticks out a little bit. You want it to be able to spin freely. And I, I found that it really works well. Nice, steady, even spin on your camera if you don't have a fancy tripod. There you go. Hope that works for you. And uh, look forward to seeing any kind of modifications or additions there too that you might come up with. Have a nice day. See ya.